This is an awesome Harry Potter backpack with a million pockets. Um, the cool thing about this backpack is it's Harry Potter artwork from the book, the original book. Um, inside there's a label that says copyright 2001. Um, so that's before the movies happened, Gryffindor. And um, so that's a fun thing for a collector to find. And I bought this for $5 at a thrift store, and I sold it for $50. Vintage recorder in its original box. Comes with a little pamphlet thing. Comes with a cleaner. Kind of amazing little thing here. Uh, it's kind of a like semi-pro recorder, not like the little plastic ones you get as a little kid. Though those sell too. Um, and this sold for 30 bucks. Global shipping program. Military surplus jacket, coat, shirt, and it's over 30 bucks. This is a set of three women's scrub tops, um, all size medium, different brands, and they sold for $25. This is a big lot of latch hooking yarn. It's just like this huge bag full that we got actually at a bag sale. So I think it probably cost us like a couple bucks. And I had it up for $96 because um, it's all 100% wool, all different colors. Um, and it sold for a best offer of $84. This is a vintage rival brand, Avocado Green, Isomatic. Um, the ice goes in here. Once it's crushed, you throw the ice in there. Uh, the thing itself weighs almost 8 pounds. It's pretty heavy. But they're so cool, so retro. Um, and this sold for 40 bucks. These are the last four soffit vents. We had a whole bunch of them. Um, they were in packs of six, but then there were four kind of stragglers. Um, and the pack of six was selling for $13. So I just put up the pack of four for $9.99, and it sold. These are a nice pair of riding boots. Um, the brand is Establo. Uh... They're in pretty good shape, uh, but we took a best offer of $37.50. This is a vintage McCoy um, cookie jar without the top. It's an owl. It's in great shape, other than it doesn't have the top. It's quite large. It's heavy. Let's see how heavy it is. Oh. Five and a half pounds. Oh my god. Um, and it sold on sale for $25. This is a suede leather uh, fisherman's cap. Um, it's kind of funny. It's got this label. Style Club Charter Member. Uh, it's definitely vintage, made in the USA. Uh, it's got a medium tag with the um, union label there. And I sold it for a best offer of $35. This is a vintage Air Force mug. Um, on the other side it says aim high. I got this for free um, at some... Our thrift store puts out big bins of mugs for free because they just get so many of them. Um, and this one sold for 20 bucks. This is a funny sale. Uh, someone had a funny, like, graduation photo totally from the 90s in here. Uh, but the frame has a kind of a brass look with these, like, black rhinestones, which are kind of cool. And it sold for 25 bucks. This is a vintage teak wood serving tray, really cute. Um, the back does have a stain on it from, looks like someone put it down on a burner or something. And it says, good wood, made in Thailand, genuine teak. And it sold for a best offer of $40. This is a nice uh, North Face touchstone backpack. It's kind of like a fancy version of a book bag, kind of a hiking bag. Um, we took a best offer of 32 on this because the inside waterproofing is like flaking off. I did vacuum it, but, um, it's not really like actually waterproof anymore. So 32 bucks, not bad. These are a pair of Johnson and Murphy men's chukka boots, ankle boots, uh, made in Italy. And we actually took a half price offer on these. I'm not sure why. <laughs> But they're in good shape, made in Italy. Um, they don't have leather soles, so maybe that's why. Um, we had them up for 96 We took an offer of 55 These are a pair of matching anti-tarnish 
silverware bags. They're really soft. Um, you can see the logo. It says Norton Lukens, Wheeling, West Virginia. Uh, they look vintage to me. And they sold on the Global Shipping Program for $25. Another bottle of Bizzle uh, Oxy Stain Fighting for the Big Green Upholstery Cleaner. Um, this sold for 13 bucks. Okay, this is to date the highest item we've ever sold on eBay. It is designer fabric. It's called Loro Piana. Um, it's made in Italy. It's cashmere and cotton um, corduroy. It's four yards. We found it in New York City. Um, I think we paid about $60 for it because we saw the original price tag. This is the original price tag. You see how much that costs? $2,000 for four yards of fabric. So we were like, yeah, we'll pay 60 bucks for this and see if anyone will give us an offer. Um, I had this up for $1,900. Someone gave me an offer the other day, us, gave us an offer of $1,800. So highest sale ever, a bunch of drab green fabric. I'm shipping it to San Francisco, putting signature confirmation on it. Um, but that's the biggest sale ever, $1,800. I just wanted to show you guys how I was shipping this. Um, this guy paid for, you can see up there, FedEx Ground, $27. Um, but I wanted it to get to him faster. So it fit in a medium flat rate box. Um, it was the perfect size. We have a uh, signature confirmation, obviously. So that's $245. We have um, insurance for $1,800. You can see up here. The postage is 13 bucks, medium flat rate. Wow, that jumped. <laughs> I didn't think it cost that much. Um, and then the insurance is $25, but you know, you gotta have insurance, obviously. Signature confirmation. So it's about $40 to ship it, um, which is fine. I want it to get to this person fast, and I want it to be insured, and I want it to have signature confirmation. So there it is. Okay, another bottle of non-acid concrete dissolver, um, non-hazardous, biodegradable, and Jay got this for like, you know, $2 for a huge lot of like 15 of them. Um, and this sold for 13 bucks on eBay. This is a Dutch leather uh, kind of briefcase doctor's bag. We got it in Amsterdam. Um, very nice leather. It opens up, there's like a label in Dutch. Quite nice. Uh, but we took a best offer of $60. These are a set of three vintage unicorn darts. They're metal with plastic, and they sold for $33. This is 2.7 yards of a silky, kind of polyester, rayon feeling fabric. Great for like making a dress or a skirt. And it sold for 40 bucks. This is a bag full of trigger finger mittens, mitten liners. We've had these forever. I brought the price down to 99 cents. And someone bought 18 pairs. So that's the last of them. So they spent, you know, a little under $18 to buy all of these. So hopefully they have a little shop and they're going to sell them. Um, but I couldn't get rid of them to save my life. So 99 cents, 18 pairs. This is a little toy beetle uh, with the German police. It's by Corgi Toys. Oh, you can't really see it. Uh, it's a Volkswagen. It's a, you know, little toy thing. It was in our death bins, but we thought, you know what? People collect these. Could be worth something. And it was. It sold for $60. And if it were in better shape, um, this one's got some wear. It would sell for uh, maybe $100. This is a man style uh, 1950s, 1960s coat. Uh, I can't focus. There it is. Um, it's got a talon zipper, metal talon zipper, so that gives you an indication it's 50s or 60s. They stopped using metal zippers, I believe, in the late 60s, early 70s. Um, it's in quite nice shape. It's got a liner, and it sold for $47. This is a vintage Big Ben uh, set of coveralls. Um, it's got a herringbone pattern, which is awesome. Uh, you can see this Big Ben by Wrangler. 
44 short. Uh, definitely an awesome set. It sold for $55.